you can see these are dramatically different parts, right? One is made of a military grade aluminum. In fact, this is a very expensive aluminum. It is a casting. Uh, there's only two foundries in the United States that are capable of making this quality material. Uh, it's already been used in military applications for steering knuckles, uh, so it's, the material's proven. And of course, we designed it specifically for aluminum. We didn't just take a, a cast iron part or a nodule iron part and just make it in aluminum. We actually designed the whole thing differently to accommodate that material. This is a stock knuckle you know, for JK, as you can see, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, they both have steering arms on top. The 1550 knuckles have uh, steering arms on the top of both knuckles. They're cast in, as you can see. It's part of the knuckle, nothing bolts on. Uh, we also made a change. We used to have our ABS mounts, a bolt-on piece, and it had an adjustment in it. We machined everything, including all the mating pieces, so that it just goes together. There's no adjustment. In terms of weight, uh, this part, you pick these up, which of course I know you can't see that, but they're very close in weight. So you can see it's a much larger part, but it, it really weighs very close to the same. I think there's a, I think this part is within two pounds of this part. So it's a, it's a lot lighter than our uh, earlier Pro 60 knuckles too, which were made of nodule iron. They're very strong, uh, but this is actually stronger than our Pro 60 knuckle, and it's still made of aluminum and it's very light. Of course, you can see it's made in USA, as is everything that we make at Dynatrack, and it has some different brake mounting options. Right now, we're just using one of these, so we have some other brakes coming down the line, but right now, we just have one. Um, this also takes ball joints that are pressed into the knuckle, whereas the stock JK, as you know, has the ball joints pressed into the end forging. So you can take the whole knuckle off. It's easier to work with the ball joints with the knuckle off than it is when they're on the housing. And so uh, we like to set up better. The bore in the knuckle is also a lot bigger. So this is big enough so that we can accept the bigger axle joint that we have, the bigger 1550 joint, and we can also accept bigger Series 30 CB joints too. So we designed this so that we could do both. Okay, so to compare the new 1550 knuckle to our Pro 60 knuckle, which we've had for, for a really long time, you can see that the 1550 knuckle is taller. And that's because the bigger axle joints need more swing, so we had to move the ball joints out to give us that room. That longer stance also gives a lot more support, so the ball joints have more leverage on the tire. Uh, this one is made out of nodular iron. This one is made out of the military grade aluminum. Uh, you can see that they both have brake gears, but this only has one style. The, uh, the spindle mounting bore is also a lot smaller because this is only, was originally designed just to handle 1480 series Dana 60 U joints, whereas this is designed to handle much larger joints. Um, the ball joint insertion style is really the same. That's the different. The ball joints both press in. The difference is that the 1550 knuckle can take a bigger ball joint set than the old Pro 60 knuckle. This part is also uh, about eight pounds lighter than this here. So that's 16 pounds right there in weight savings on knuckles. Uh, so that's, that's considerable. And it's stronger. So it's better, stronger, and lighter.